There is more outrage over how Cabrini University is handling the closure of the school. Students are scrambling to find a new place to continue their education. Chief investigative reporter Joe Holden has the very latest from Radnor Township. Cabrini parents told me they knew the school's finances were in rough shape. They were anticipating maybe the announcement of a merger. Instead, they say the university dropped the ball and dropped a bomb on their children. For hundreds of Cabrini University students, Friday was bad. Rising senior Isaiah Dixon told me the last thing he expected to hear was the university would be closing. We were under the assumption that there was going to be a merger of some kind, but the fact that we the institution is completely sold was definitely a shock to us. Rumors started circulating about that possible sale weeks ago. Behind the scenes, school higher ups were quietly navigating the terms of a deal with Villanova. One so sensitive, key players say they signed non disclosure agreements. Former faculty members said news of a sale was a blind sighting. It was devastating, not only to me, losing my sense of my professional and student community, but I just felt so bad for the current students and for the faculty and staff because it was like a BAM right there. In your heart. Devastated? Yes. Heartbroken. Heartbroken. And that's the common reaction among all the folks. Julie Schaus's daughter was entering her first year. She says there was at first confusion Cabrini students would be automatically absorbed into Villanova University. That wasn't so. That was the bomb that was dropped. That was the, wow, <laughs> we don't even have the peace of mind of maybe an option for our kids to stay there and stay on campus. Cabrini joins a small list of area schools that data shows have merged or closed in the last few years. Cabrini University President Helen Drynan told me by phone she was super clear about the school's financial challenges to the community. The school spent the last several years deep in the red under a former president who did not respond to an email for a comment. What do you think of the school's overall handling of this? Horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. It's not the Cabrini mission. In Rodner Township, this is Joe Holden, CBS News, Philadelphia.